Sabor y Crap. It's Thursday, August 22nd. I'm JP Mestanza, and this is Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. Let's start with our top story. A debate is raging over the idea floated by tourism and sports minister Peapot to allow night entertainment venues in tourist destinations around Thailand to stay open for an extra two hours until 4 a.m. Academics and activists are advising the government to study the possible negative impacts of the proposal, with one researcher at the Center for Alcohol Studies saying it would be seen as undoing the work of civic groups who have campaigned for years on measures to curb alcohol consumption in the country. Still, it has been widely welcomed by business establishments. The idea was previously pushed by entertainment operators in Patong for the Bangla Road area with little success and it's now in the spotlight just weeks after Minister Peapot's visit to Phuket's biggest tourist town. The head of the Patong Entertainment Business Operators Union on the island says that districts like Bangla Road generate 20 to 30 million baht per night and the extra hours could provide a 30 to 40 percent boost. TAT Governor Yutasak Supason cited data that foreign tourists spend about 5,500 baht per person and the extended closing times to 4 a.m. would be done with them in mind. What do you think? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. The Peak Residence Development, a condo development under construction at Katanoi, it's been in the news recently after MP Sira Jinjara filed a slew of formal complaints over the project, including one with the DSI. And now the CEO of Kata Beach Co. Ltd., the owner of the project, is speaking out. Back in August of 2017, the Regional Administrative Court in Nakonsri Tamarat ruled that the project's North Shore 3 core land deed was invalid on the basis that the land is protected forest land, but the developer filed an appeal with the Supreme Administrative Court and construction of the project is currently halted until that ruling is made, whenever that might be. Earlier this week, reports surfaced that MP Sira who's been pushing for Phuket officials on why there's been no progress on the case and questioned whether corrupt, corrupt officers were involved, he said he received death threats related to the project. But in a press conference at Kata Noi yesterday near the development, Manasanan Nararatanawi, CEO of the company behind the project, spoke out. He laid out the history of the land and the project itself, saying his company bought it from two men that although much construction has yet to be done, it's currently on pause until a ruling comes down from the Supreme Administrative Court and that they're quote, building a wall to prevent any landslides and installing retention tanks to prevent runoff. He did admit that they don't have full title deeds for the 2.1 billion bot project. For the full statement, visit thepuketnews.com. The director of the Phuket Provincial Irrigation Office is calling for the province to begin implementing water saving measures as a precaution if the heavy rains that usually come in September and October fail to replenish Phuket's main reservoirs ahead of the next dry season. He noted that now, more than three months into the rainy season, the Bangwad Reservoir in Katu is at about 13.2% of capacity, while the Bangyao Dam Reservoir in Sri Sutorn is only at 5.6% of capacity. The Klongkata Reservoir in Chalong is looking much healthier with about 30.2% of capacity. Still so far this year, from January through to August, estimated rainfall that has landed in the areas where the reservoirs are located, it's about 10% less than the average. Despite this, the chief of the local disaster office did tell the Phuket News that he believes the island has enough water to, to last through to the next dry season after the annual rains cease in early November. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. Phuket Extra will be right back after this. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. 
condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential, Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor, to find your perfect Phuket property. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. Starting September 20th, traffic police will not be legally allowed to seize the driver's licenses of motorists who break any traffic laws as a new amendment to the 1997 Land Traffic Act comes into effect. The amendment to the law comes as digital licenses are introduced in Thailand, and while traffic police will not be able to seize physical licenses, they also will be allowed to issue traffic tickets by mail to the registered car owners found involved in breaching traffic violations. The digital driver's licenses, which according to Royal Thai Police memo, could be a photographic image or be drawn from an app by the Department of Land Transport called the DLT QR license. The whole thing is meant to help with the implementation of the new point deduction system in which drivers start with 12 points and depending on the traffic violation, points are deducted with drivers who lose all 12 points having their license suspended for 90 days. Three suspensions will lead to a one year suspension. Do you have a Thai or international driver's license? Give us your thoughts in the comments below. The alarm is being raised on the sale of black tip reef sharks after a haul of the fish were found on sale at a market on Kolanta, just some 30 kilometers from the world famous Maya Bay off PP Island. Respected marine life expert Dr. Tom Tamronawasawat posted a photo of the black tip reef sharks being sold at the market on Kolanta and said in a statement yesterday that although it's forbidden to catch sharks under 50 centimeters long in the waters off Krabi province, sharks are not a protected species in the kingdom as catching and selling sharks bigger than 50 centimeters long is not illegal. The fish market was on Kolanta, which is part of Krabi province. The world famous Maya Bay in the Pipi Islands also falls under Krabi province. And when Maya Bay was first closed on June 1st of 2018, last year, it took just a few months for the black tip reef sharks to return in October of last year. And experts noted it as among the first signs that the bay's marine ecosystem was starting to recover after years of overtourism. For more on that, visit thepuketnews.com. A deer that was found dead in Kao Yai National Park, the largest one in Thailand. It was examined by experts who found that its stomach had three kilos of plastic inside of it. A story on coconuts Bangkok explains that the deer was discovered by a National Parks Department veterinarian who asked not to be named. And among the three kilos of plastic contents found inside the dead deer's stomach was a spork and various plastic bags. The discovery comes just days after the death of popular baby orphaned dugong Mariam, whose belly was full of plastic that contributed to its passing. A ban on plastic bags and styrofoam containers at all zoos and national parks around the nation had been in place since June of 2018. And that's it for Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. For safe, secure, and soundproof windows, visit pvcphuket.com. If you're watching us on YouTube, click that subscribe button to check out all of our future videos. If you're watching us on Facebook, give us a like on the Puka News page. From all of us here at the Puka News Center, thank you for watching and until tomorrow, stay classy Phuket.